One more thing about the rod. <laughs> one more. Say that's the bank there. Say there's lily pads out there where that the, the dirt mark is, that, that little dirt mark. About six feet from shore. I walked up on and there's lily pads coming all the way down. So there's just a six foot band of water. Right against the shore, you're probably about six inches. Out there you're looking at about two feet, maybe two and a half, maybe two feet. Walked up, I casted my line. The fly landed on top of the lily pad. I let it set for a minute and then slowly pull the fly off so it dropped. As soon as it dropped down, it disappeared. It got sucked under and boom, something was on it and just took off. I mean, just smoking my click and prowl drag. Just, I was like, oh man. It was the biggest thing I've ever caught on a freshwater rod. It just, it felt like it just boom, took off. There was no stopping it. It was heading right for the reeds. Once you got to the reeds, the lily pad stopped. The lily pad stopped about where that rock is. The reeds are there. So that's open water. So I got past there and it, I thought it was gonna go out, but it turned around and shot back and it shot this way and it went under the lily pads. And when I went over there and pulled and looked, I saw a carp, a carp, I, as long as that stick. He was a foot and a half long, probably 15, 16, maybe 17 pound carp, real wide. But I only had two pound tippet. So as soon as it went into the reeds, pop, lost it. But that was the biggest and best fight I've ever had on a, I can't say the best fight. No, I had another, I had a nice trout up north, but it wasn't on the five weight. Actually, it was on my penfishingrods.com fly rod, which is about five foot, I believe, four feet, five feet. And I threw out in the Owens River. The Owens River, where I was fishing, is no wider than from here to that boulder, which is, what, 8, 10, 10, 12, 10, about 10 feet, by the Browns campground. And there was a tight loop in the water here. I cast it out, and I let my fly go around that loop. And when it went around that loop, I just seen, it got sucked, and boom, it took off. I got a, I have a video of it. I'll look for it and I'll put a link in the bottom if I can find it. I have 900 videos now, I, I believe. Crazy. But um, the Owens River is maybe waist deep at that area. It was flowing pretty good and I didn't have a net with me. So I'm yelling to my brother to get a net. And my brother's running to get the net in the campground. And I jumped in the water and I worked my way around the corner to a bank and I pulled it up. And I got it's about three three pound rainbow trout on a pinfishingrods.com fly rod two pound leader it was crazy and uh it was really thick it was cool we had that for dinner myself my brother and my daughter it was awesome pinfishingrods.com <laughs> Look who's here. Right on, man. And one more still coming. Spaghetti John. <laughs> Hammock. Under quilt. What is this? I've seen. Um, outdoor vitals. Zero degree. It'd be warm. Man, that's a thick one. Yeah. I got this guy. 20 degree. Right on. So right away they noticed the ham there, his hammock tree gone. That was one of the best spots to hammock, huh? Yep, right next to the fire. Right next to the green screen. Matt's cowboy camping on the ground. So these guys all in one day, you guys, you guys started yesterday or today? La uh, last night you I, camped I at, okay they camped at Vincent's cabin, then they went back up two miles or so to the mine, checked out the mine and then they came down here. Got down here about 
half an hour ago. So you got down here about five o'clock? About five hours. Yeah, about five o'clock they got here. And I just took the leftovers of my food and got rid of it. I just got rid of it and I was walking back up the river when I seen this guy peek his head over the corner. <laughs> cool. Stinkage. <laughs> you know, I try to go to look at it. Yes, I can still see. Close enough. Dude. I've even got like a stick that I keep my eyelids like it broke off. Breakfast. Matt's got his uh, down shoes. <laughs> Booties. And his down pants. Those are down, huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, I got them underneath this. Sleeping bag. Everything. This guy, he carried in, what'd you carry? He carried in a uh, case of Tecate on a through hike, not in his pack, in his hands. <laughs> and as they're drinking them, they're not throwing the cans out. They're smashing the cans and taking them. He's also picking up balloons and trash and using the, using the uh, box to carry the out trash. never stops. <laughs> <laughs> this guy carried in four steaks. We had three last night. He's got one here. In a little fry pan. Want some Here. omelet? I like eating out of the cup for some reason. I made some uh, banana coconut uh, pancakes. Oh. Good stuff, huh? Delicious. Black and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the last three Tecates? Last three Tecates, um, he took them and he put them on the, right on the bedrock last night. That's, that bedrock is freezing cold. And every once in a while we'll get a good gust of wind. I'm glad I tied those sides out. Cause inside there I was totally warm. I hadn't had a night's, I, of course I walked all yesterday from morning till afternoon, but I hadn't had a night's sleep like that in a long time. It felt great. It's hard to beat a hammock for sleeping, huh? Okay. You could stay asleep till noon in a hammock. It's hard. It's it's hard. It's hard to beat. Some people say I can't sleep that way, but I was on my side. I slept on my side, totally flat, in that Hennessy Hyperlite. I think the Hennessy was the first ones who I could be wrong that invented that sideways that diagonal. Now everybody's jumped on it. They're all doing it. Sleep diagonal. It's semi flat and the sides don't come up around you real tight like if you're like just like a banana comes up around you real tight. You still have something? So uh you can sleep on your sides, you can even sleep on your stomach. Okay, here's that Hennessy Jacks are better underquilt. It just hooks to these little hooks up here. And this snake skin, put it all in. This is that cover I told you about with the billow so you don't get any condensation and it's made especially for this so it, the elastics that come from the Hennessy come up through the under under quilt and then through these so everything's all held in place there's my hammock over quilt pillow uh, Schmog headlight. Okay, I'm about ready to take off my walking stick. And this is the penfishingrods.com. There'll be a link in the details. This one's named after my channel, Feral Rod. I'm starting off with a mini jig. And there's that waterfall. So you guys know exactly where I'm talking about, how much the river has changed. This waterfall, and then you go maybe a half a click up river and there's fish fork on the left fish fork camp and then fish fork to the right river adding to this so there's uh you can look on the map and see where i'm talking about
What's great about these pinfishingrods.com is you're walking along, you can fish, and when you come into uh, a lot of brush, you can, without unrigging, uh, collapse it as many sections as needed, and then you spot a trout, unhook your lure, extend it, and you're back in action. I'm back to the entrance where, uh, entrance of Iron Fork, where Iron Fork meets with uh, East Fork. Right there, first meetup. Hey bud, how's it going? And then they go down together. Further down, uh, Devil's Canyon will bleed in, Alder Gulch, Dry, Dry, uh, Dry Creek right now, but um, Rattlesnake Gulch does have a flow every once in a while. And there are numerous springs along the way too. But between here and Heaton Flats is where the most action went on back in the day. Up there, and back of this, around the corner. Um, I believe there's another mine. I don't want to mention it. I don't want to see it. Maybe, I doubt I'll ever make it. I'll end up telling somebody, but an old guy told me about a mine back there. How you get up there, I don't know. Yes. Oh. Fish on, fish off. Oh, shoot, a big one. Yes. 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 Years ago, Kevin Brown and I were looking for something. I think I found it. Look at this. Let's see. Let's see. Should be in the picture now. I think that's a mine. Right on. I'm there. I'm going to check that out. Look at that. That is a mine, I believe. Awesome. 